Hey everybody, today's video is dedicated to Emissary. Regardless of what you think of Nilfgaard, come February 6th, everybody and their mother is going to be playing the faction. And my prediction is they're going to be putting Emissaries in their deck. Why? Well, Emissary is the go-to deck thing card in for Nilfgaard. It plays the top non-gold unit in your deck. That means it can pull silvers, and you, you can pull itself. So you can go Emissary, Emissary, Emperor Brigade for a 12-point Emperor Brigade, which gets three strength for each spying unit. Deck thinning is really strong. You could play it without any, like, any spy synergies, and you'd still use it. Think about the other factions. Skellige. They play Clan Doom and Pirate, even if they're not playing the Pirate Captain or War Longship. They're doing it for their win condition, which are gold cards. Nilfgaard is also playing for their win condition in gold cards in my understanding of the faction. They're going to be wanting to get their Vigilforts and their um, Lethos and their Backers Twisted Mirrors, whatever it is, to win around with their gold cards. They also have really strong silver and bronze cards to act as a also as a win condition but they need those gold cards are going to kind of hold it because gold cards are harder to deal with than a lot of Nilfgaard's most Nilfgaard's strongest units now how would you play emissary in a Nilfgaard deck if you're playing the reveal archetype you're going to probably be putting the spearmen to bolster your deck thinning Spearman pulls a copy of itself or an instance of this card from the deck every time for every revealed card in either hand. So if whenever you have a card that discards or thins your deck of a specific card, you play that before you play a card that thins your deck of a random card. Spearman picks a specific card itself out of your deck and plays it onto the field. So you have to play that before Emissary, if it's in your hand. So you use a mirror, it reveals two cards on your opponent's side of the field, I mean opponent's hand. And then you play Spearman, and it takes out two cards from your deck, and two other Spearmen from your deck. Yeah, I know there's ways around that, like if your opponent plays one of the revealed cards. So there's, you might want to reveal more cards in order to make sure the Spearman uh, gets revealed. Because you can also, it also counts your hand when you do that. After you get your three Spearmen out of your deck, then you'll play the Emissary to start thin your deck of more things. And you have a high likelihood of hitting Silvers, which is really powerful. Since it can pull anything. Uh, if you're doing the Spy Archetype, you're either going to do the Emperor Brigade, which gains three strength for each Spy unit. We've talked about that. Or you're going to be playing it with things like the Black Infantry Arbalist, which negates the two strength you give your opponent. Well, it becomes seven points, and deck th it thins your deck a bit. Now you might say, well, seven points isn't that great, but the deck thinning pays for it. So we talked about what Emissary is. I gave you the reasons why I think it'll be in every Nilfgaard deck. It'll be because it's a good deck thinning card. Um, but how are we going to counter that? And this is going to probably come to a surprise to most of you, and that's with the Scoyotel faction. Scoyotel has the Thin A, and they have Blue Mountain Commando. You can replay the Emissaries with Blue Mountain Commando and thin your deck as much, if not more, than you could with just Elven Mercenaries. Now, of course, if you pull into another Blue Mountain Commando with the Emissary, you want to have something on the board that you can replay with the second Blue Mountain Commando. So if you have a Mahakaman Guard, you're going to probably want to have the Blue Mountain Commando, uh, you're probably going to want that have be on the board before you play, you replay your opponent's Emissary. If your opponent plays a Silver Disloyal card, then you can use the Thin A to replay that on their side of the board and get their, the same deck thinning that they have. And Scoyotel also can be played to, for a win condition in its gold cards, but it'll have a little bit more deck thinning this way. And I suspect that uh, during the first week, a lot of people are going to be trying the Dwarf Archetype with Scoyotel. 
and you're probably going to still play Blue Mountain Commandos in that archetype. Just because replaying cards is very useful. Okay. Moving on, I would like to also add that huh, I finally have more gameplay footage next week. I've been holding off because I don't really think, I don't have the drive to play in this current patch. I don't really like this current patch anymore. Yes, there's a lot of really cool things, but until next week, I'm just going to be doing analysis videos. So I hope you like this and have a great night. Yeah, or day, depending on where you live.